At Breck, we value leaving campus on a regular basis, getting outside the school beyond the classroom, and learn about ways that our students can really get involved and become passionate change makers in our community. Every Wednesday morning, groups of about 10 to 12 students with a faculty advisor go to organizations like early childhood education centers, food shelves, and students get to choose where they would like to volunteer, which really helps foster more meaning and buy-in from the students. Harvest Prep is an Afrocentric charter school in Minneapolis, and we've partnered with them for many, many years. And this year we have two seniors who are in the advanced math research class who proposed a project where they would use therapy dogs in a literacy program with second graders. Our service site is also part of our math research project. It's at Harvest Prep Charter School in Minneapolis, and we bring in service dogs and Breck volunteers to read with second grade scholars at Harvest Prep. We're trying to see what is the most effective way to help kids read. We're trying to prove that you can bring dogs in during the school day and kind of see how that can improve some of the students' academic courses and just achievements overall. The Breck students are looking at what are the attitudes of the Harvest Prep students, how is that impacting their uh, engagement with the activity, are they enjoying reading more, so it's pretty exciting. The world doesn't see the potential in kids for being change makers, and I, I believe to my core that they are. Although this is our project that we're doing, I think it's so much more broad than just with math research. I think just helping out and finding new and innovative ways to better someone else or even better yourself, I think that that's just a really great approach. I've gone to like nursing homes, I've gone to preschools, I've gone to food shelves, and I think every single experience has given me a broader view of the community. Seeing different aspects of the community makes you realize that there's so much more to life than you know, your day-to-day -day -day activities. It would be really easy for Breck to check off the box and say, yep, we're involved in community service. We raise this many pounds of food. We've contributed this many service hours. But that's not what we're doing. We're involved in the more meaningful but harder work of really getting to know people and looking at social issues and listening and trying to empower folks who don't have a voice. And I think that's really exciting.